Who was Elsa Schiaparelli? She was born September 10th of 1890 in Rome, Italy. Schiaparelli's mother, Maria Luisa, was a Neapolitan aristocrat, and Celestino Schiaparelli, father of Elsa, was an accomplished scholar with many lines of interest. His studies revolved around the Islamic world and the era of the Middle Ages. Elsa's father also served as dean at Sapienza University of Rome, which she would later attend. His brother Giovanni was an astronomer and had discovered what we call the Martian canals. A cousin of the brothers, Ernesto Schiaparelli, was a well-known Egyptologist who discovered the tomb of Nefertiti. Through the culture and religion all around her provided by her family's professions throughout her childhood, Elsa began writing a volume of poems titled Arethusa, based on the ancient Greek of the hunt. The content of her writing alarmed her conservative parents. They went on to send her to a strict boarding school in Switzerland in hopes to calm her. Upon arrival, Schiaparelli went on a hunger strike, rebelling against the school's harsh authority, leaving her parents no choice but to bring her home. She then fled to London to escape a wealthy Russian suitor whom her parents wanted her to marry. When attending a conference on theology, she quickly fell for young theosophist Count Wilhelm Vent de Kerlor. They married in 1914 and left London for New York in 1916. Their daughter, Countess Maria Luisa Yvonne Radad de Vent de Calor, known more simply as Gogo, was born. When her husband cheated on her and they divorced, she moved to Paris as a single mother in 1922. During the day, Elsa worked at an antique dealer's shop, and in the evening, she spent her time at a famous restaurant and quickly her high-end group of friends grew. With the encouragement of her friend, Paul Pourette, she started her own business designing clothes. In 1927, she launched her knitwear collection. Her collection became so popular that she had to expand her staff to keep up with the high demand. She was an icon in many ways. She designed the divided skirt and wrap dress and caused a stir in the tennis world when her design was worn by Lily Alvarez. Quickly, her designs were changing into evening wear and more high-end pieces. Her designs were worn by celebrities such as Garbo, the Duchess of Windsor, and Catherine Hepburn. In 1934, she became the first fashion designer and businesswoman to appear on the cover of Time magazine. In 1941, she moved from Paris back to New York due to World War II. When she returned to Paris after the war, Dior's new romantic look had taken over and there seemed to be no place for her avant-garde, out-of-the-box designs. Elsa Schiaparelli closed down her couture house in 1954 and passed away in 1973. Elsa's couture house stayed closed until 2012. The current designer and artistic director of Schiaparelli is Daniel Roseberry, who was appointed in April of 2019. Throughout his time at Schiaparelli, he has been an extremely influential character in the growing and major comeback of the brand. His avant-garde designs actively demonstrate a modern take on Elsa's original pieces, being he frequently takes inspiration from her old garments and reworks them to be tailored to today's society and modern world. To conclude, Elsa Schiaparelli was not only an amazing woman, feminist, and fashion designer, but changed the fashion industry for the better. Thank you and happy Women's History Month.